Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to go over the updates to using cloud libraries that came out in Fusion 360. All right, so it's a bit crazy week, but it's a good week. Um, I've actually been at the shop all weekend. Uh, been uh, running like mad, trying to get cleaned up around here and get some stuff moved around. Um, but uh, while I was gone today, I got a I got some notifications on a, a video that I made. Uh, a little over a year ago now about using cloud libraries and how to how to upload them and how to use them. Um, that video is actually out of date at this point. Uh, Autodesk has released an update to Fusion and how they manage uh, cloud libraries and so I thought it might be a good idea just to go ahead and take a few minutes and go over what the changes are um, and, and how you can use cloud libraries for your tools, um, for post-processing, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that real quickly and uh, go over that. All right, so we are in Fusion and I just wanted to show a little bit about the differences on where you store your um, cloud posts and tools and things of that nature. Um, first thing that you need to do, and I left this out in the last one, go to your preferences and in CAM, turn on cloud libraries, right? Turn that on. You need to do this on every computer that you want to use uh, cloud libraries. All right, so just turn that on. Say OK. It'll turn that on. It'll start to sync things. What's it going to sync? Well, we used to have to go into the A360 website and uh, move some things around. You don't have to do that anymore. Now you can simply scroll down to libraries. See there's assets here. We open the assets folder. And then here are the um, folders where we keep the different types of libraries uh, that can be stored in the cloud. Uh, specifically, we were talking about posts, but you can have tools and templates in the cloud as well. So let's look at uh, CAM posts. Right? So here is, uh, here's my list of uh, posts that I have in my cloud library. Uh, how do I do that? Well, um, let's, let's look at the, the Tormach one, for instance. The Tormach post, uh, I went ahead and I downloaded it. I went to uh, I went to the CAM uh, post library, which is cam.autodesk.com slash posts. Okay? You can get most uh, generic posts uh, right from here. Right? So, so do a search. You can. This will get you close. Right? Here's your generic Mach 3 mil. Uh, looks like it was changed five days ago, in fact. And you can even see what's changed. Right? So go here, download this, open it in your favorite text editor. I'm using Text Wrangler. And here we can see this is the Tormach uh, post. Rotary table. I don't have one on here right now. Mm -hmm. Circular motion. All right. Well, I guess this isn't really the important part right now. So I'm going to not worry about this. If you are worried about cam posts, um, Matt Nichols is a good uh, resource on that one. Check out his, uh, his YouTube channel. Anyways, once you're done with your posts, and I guess I started chasing a shiny object here, sorry folks, save your file, and then all you have to do is click the upload button, right? Say upload, select your file, or you can drag and drop it in here, although I find this menu on the Mac goes away when you click outside of the window, like that, so you can't really drag and drop, but you can select your files. It comes into the files that you want. I can go to my downloads here, there's that file. I click open and it'll start to upload that file. Okay, so that's how you get files in here. It's really straightforward. I did the exact same thing for, um, oops, I went too far back, uh, for my CAM tools. And actually these are the tool um, files. I just put them in the wrong place the first time around. So um, yeah, I was able to go back in and uh, into the A360 um, website into the Files portion, not not just the files that I'm saving, but um, there's a, a folders section in there, and I grab those files and, and put them in here. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps. I I feel like I, I may have confused people more than helped them, but it's pretty straightforward. Remember, it's it's you know get your file, click you know come into ass or come to the assets in the library, right? So it's library, libraries, assets. Go to the right folder, click upload, and you can start to use this in on all your computers. Right? So pretty straightforward. Well, I hope that wasn't uh, too confusing. 
Uh, it's actually a whole lot easier to do cloud libraries than it used to be in the past. Um, I just got a little distracted and chasing shiny objects. Uh, sorry about that, folks, but um, I hope that uh, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, I just want to say thanks again for uh, for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Um, it really does help. And lastly, I, I want to say thank you to all of uh, all of my patrons over on Patreon who help support the channel here. Um, you know, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, you know, click on over there. I actually um, I do quite a bit with Patreon. Well, I won't say I do quite a bit. I release content that's specific just to um, just to patrons, right? Um, I, there, there's some things that I talk about, uh, some projects that I, I'm working on that uh, only get released to Patreon um, as a, a way to you know, say thank you. Um, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'm rambling. It's been a long, long day, so I'm going to go. But uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care, folks.